Welcome, welcome, one and all, to Zipster's Gaming Corner. I'm your host, Zipster. What we do here is review PC games in HD. Well, mostly HD, I should say. But, what we shall be reviewing for today is... No Time to Explain. I don't know if you guys heard about this game or not, but it's... It's a different type, type of game, that's for sure. Um, it's a game that was... Uh, developed by Tiny Build Games. I don't believe they had any other games. This might have been the first one that they have. It's mostly a platformer game. Um, just a little background on it. It was actually a Flash game on Newgrounds. They actually had one. It's no time to explain. Um, uh, Tom Brain or Brian is the guy who uh, created the game, and then he wanted to make it into a full game. Hence, now, no time to explain for this game. It's actually still a Flash game, believe it or not, but uh, it's still kind of big to a certain degree. Um, but, yeah, mostly it's a platform game where there's time travel, uh, jetpack guns, which you'll see a lot of in the game, giant enemy crabs, and ribs in people's eyes. Yeah, an interesting description. <laughs> you'll see what I uh, mean based off of that. Um... But yeah, the the game it, it's strange. <laughs> it's very very interesting. Uh, but the way we review the games on Zipster's Gaming Corner: five categories: presentation, graphics, sound, gameplay, lasting appeal, also known as replayability. So we'll go through each category as we're going through the game. Uh, give you a little taste of what the game's about, uh, which we're doing now, and a little game trailer, and then we'll get into the game itself. Uh, so without further ado, I give you no time to explain. Here's a little video on it. I am you from the future. There's no time to explain. Follow me to- OH CHRIST! <laughs> from the future. Wait a minute. So that was a little trailer of No Time to Explain. <laughs> I'm sure you have many questions of what the heck was going on in that game. <laughs> I, honest, I honestly uh, don't know myself. So it's uh, pretty interesting. Uh, just a little bit. We'll hit the first category here, presentation. Gave it a 9 out of 10. Uh, mostly game takes place in multiple areas, different environments, as you saw in that video. From a green hillside to a tundra snowy area to a factory, um, pretty much a different type of environment, you name it, even in the air later on in the game. Uh, as you can see, the game is a platformer. <laughs> can get very, very frustrating at parts, um, but it's a fairly simple game. You fire your lasers if you want to <laughs> go with that route, and you uh, lift up to try and get to the different platforms. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's not too bad of a game. So we'll go ahead and uh, start up the game here. Uh, I got it right here for you guys. Alright, so, you'll see we're in the game right here. Different green hillside that you see. 
Um, kind of, kind of interesting. You you have your uh, different you know uh, beams that you can uh, do here with your beam gun. Each of these are your little areas that you can go into. You keep shooting it with your beam to unlock it. Um, as you can see, the graphics, it, yeah, they're okay. I gave it a 7 out of 10. Uh, the graphics are, are nice. Um, different explosions and stuff along places, anywhere from medium to big-sized bosses. But it kind of feels like paper when you play the game, and you'll know what I mean whenever you're looking around, just blasting your laser around like that. Um... Overall, though, this game I give 10 out of 10 uh, for its sound, for its originality. It has like a techno theme kind of to it, and this is kind of the whole bass music that you hear in the background. Yeah, you hear that just going like that. Well, it variates a little bit from each environment, but it's pretty cool. Um, original techno sound uh, varies from stage to stage overall, like the same, but. It can get a little annoying, I guess, which you still, you got your options. Um, oh, maybe there is no music option. Yeah, there might be in the beginning, I don't remember. But anyways, yeah, there's different options you got in there. Um, but, you'll see, there, one of the options is Screaming Guy, as you can see right here. You can check it on and off. Really, y you never want to check that off. And you you'll see what I mean with the screaming guy as soon as we get in here. I'll get to the first level and show you here. I am you from the future. There's no time to explain. Follow me to- OH CHRIST! <laughs> <laughs> Use the arrow keys to move! <laughs> as you can imagine, that's the screaming guy. So we're going to go out here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so it's pretty interesting. So you see your beam, you can go up, you, you press, you can press your jump, as you can see with the arrow key here, and you blast your cannon and hold your left mouse button, so you go up like this. You have limited beam, so you'll run out eventually and come back down. Um, but yeah, seriously, the screaming guy's great, he's on every level as you're playing through it. Um, so we'll go through here. <laughs> yeah, so you can die on the spikes. Apparently this is just the intro to what you're doing. Screaming guy's great though. Um, overall, I gave it 8 out of 10 for gameplay. Uh, gameplay is pretty straightforward. You got a laser can, boost you from ledges, avoid some spikes my and enemies. Yeah, ribs in the eyes. That's, that's another one there. But, uh, yeah, we'll go over here. Um, but yeah, more about gameplay. Strangely, you got infinite lives, as you can see in parts here. And it kind of just respawns you, which is nice. Later in levels, it gets harder. They spawn you back at the beginning, and it becomes a little pain in the butt. Um, overall, th there's some glitches that need to get addressed on some of the levels. I think the developers are working on them, but we'll have to see here. Um, yeah, so, yeah, just saw what happened, and I uh, hope you're prepared for this next part. <laughs> yeah, giant enemy crab with a spaceship, and, yeah, no time to explain, apparently, in the game. And as you can see here, I have, like, infinite lives, because I, I mean, I can avoid this stuff pretty well, but you can't avoid it all the time, and you get hit. And it's funny, because his face gets angrier and angrier, which I'm sure will happen whenever I keep getting hit here. Um, but, uh, last category we got, lasting appeal, um, or replayability. I give it a 5 out of 10, only because it's like a half Z type thing, where, you know, the game could really only be played maybe once, twice, maybe three times. Um, I mean, it all depends on your discretion, but... I would say overall, you, you, I mean, once you know how to beat the levels consecutively over and over again, the game's not too hard. Um, I'm just messing around right now. I know how to play this game pretty well. I, uh, first time it took me about three hours to beat, but after that, I mean, really like 45 minutes of that. The game's kind of short, but kind of long if you're not so good at platformers. Um, 
But nice thing is, if you order it, it comes out uh, season two. You get it for free if you order this one. It'll be coming out this December, so there's continuation as this you can imagine. Um, let's go ahead and blow up some of the ship here. But yeah, overall, I I mean, I like this game. <laughs> it's funny. It's good for the lulls, kind of like Duke Nukem forever. You know, we've been waiting for that forever to come out. But yeah, this game, I don't, I don't think you can play it too much. You can see his face getting angry right there. Um, but yeah, overall, 7.8 out of 10 is what I give this game. No time to explain. I uh, really enjoy it. Finish up this level here. You can always get zoomed in so you can see the, uh, uh, there we go. Come on. Yeah. There we go. It seems like we have infinite laser beam here. I think it's only when you boost yourself you'll have much. There, now you'll see when we zoom in how many increased faces. <laughs> it was like a puckering lip. Die, crab, die. Whoa, what the heck just happened? <laughs> see, the game glitches a little. <laughs> So yep, that was the first level, and I won't ru ruin the rest of it for you, but you can see, I'll just go over here, all these orbs are levels to go to other places, so there's a there's a bit to the game, actually, there's a lot in each one, so. But yeah, that's that's the game that we got there. Um, overall, I mean, I like, I like the game, it's really good, it's, like I said, it gave a 7.8 out of 10. That's uh, no time to explain for you, folks. Um, feel free to send any requests you want for different games to be reviews. If there's gamingcorner at gmail.com. Most of these will be uploaded to two sites, one being my live stream account, which I'm streaming live right now, livestream.com slash ultimatepcgaming. Um, you'll find all these links in the uh, U YouTube account, which is youtube.com slash user slash zipster123. And lastly but not least, Zipster's Gaming Corner. I have a Facebook site that I uh, post some of that up. So feel free to uh, join and check out all the games we got. Well, till next time, my fellow gamers, this is Zipster signing off. Later. <laughs>